What's up, it's Chris Heria. Eggs have always been a very important ingredient in my diet when it comes to building solid lean muscle while simultaneously burning fat and getting shredded and pretty much help build the muscle, strength, and physique that I have today. Eggs are loaded with high quality proteins, vitamins, minerals, and good fats while also being low in calories, perfect for building muscle and staying lean. They can even reduce risks of heart disease and stroke and you can eat them every single day if you wanted to. Now you guys have already seen me make my deviled eggs, my McGriddle that's way better than McDonald's, and my omelets. So today I'll be showing you five new recipes that you can try right from home, starting with the very first one. One of my absolute favorites, French toast and eggs. All five meals, including this dish, are high in protein and low calories, which as I said before, is great for building muscle and getting shredded simultaneously. And for our first meal, the macros are gonna be 537 calories, 41 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, and 27 grams of fat, and 1,000% healthy and delicious. All right, here we go, guys. This is actually one of my favorite meals to make, so we're gonna have fun making this one. Let's get out our pan, spray on some avocado oil, and then start heating it up. Next, we're gonna get a bowl, crack all four eggs inside, then add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and some cinnamon. And then we gotta mix this up. Damn, that smells amazing. Once it's all mixed up, you wanna take out your bread. I'm using Arnold Keto Bread. It's also low in calorie with 60 calories per slice and three grams of protein. So for me, this is the best bread option. We're gonna take each slice of bread and let them soak in the eggs until they absorb as much of the egg mixture as they possibly could. Once your bread slices are soaked, we're gonna cook each slice over low to medium heat to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked all the way to the inside without burning the outside. Flip over to the other side and do the same thing. All right, while this is cooking, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon. As each one comes out fully cooked and nicely browned, you wanna begin to plate them. Now, if you want extra credit, you can always throw these into a toaster and make them just a little bit more toasty. Take a look at our bowl with the egg mixture, all four eggs into those four slices of bread. And for a finishing touch, we're gonna drizzle some of Carrie's sugar-free syrup. Each tablespoon only has five calories. And there you have it, Chris Harry's delicious and healthy French toast. Now, all that's left is to give it a taste test. Stephanie, you wanna do the honors? 10 out of 10. All right, for a real taste test, we gotta get the kids to try. First up, my son Zen. Let me know what you think. That's really good. I'll give it like an eight and a half. All right. My nephew Ati, you want to give it a try? Yeah. Take a bite. Do you like it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right. Do you want some more? Yeah. Okay. That boy wants more. Here's another bite. Um. All right. Kids approved. Adult approved. On to the next meal. All right, next meal is a favorite from my generation. That's gonna be avocado toast. And normally when you go buy avocado toast, it can be anywhere from eight to $18. But I'm gonna show you how to make it a lot more cost effective by making it from home. Let's get into it. The macros on our avocado toast is 506 calories, 27 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of fat. And the ingredients you'll need for this recipe and for one serving is two slices of bread. I'm using Dave's Killer Power Seed Organic Bread. Half of a Haas avocado, which is 100 grams, two teaspoons of crushed red pepper flakes, three large boiled eggs, lemon juice, a pinch of salt. So let's get started. First, we need to boil the eggs. So we're gonna place the eggs in a saucepan, pour cool water over the eggs until fully submerged, then bring the water to a rolling boil on the stove. Once it begins to boil, you wanna reduce the heat to low and cook according to the desired doneness. Four minutes for a soft boil, six minutes for a medium boil, and 12 minutes for hard boiled eggs. Next, you'll wanna prepare a bowl of ice water. Transfer the cooked eggs to the ice water to cool completely before peeling. This is gonna make it way easier to peel and the shell will just come right off. As you can see, this is like the best technique for cracking your eggs. Just take them out, drop them a little bit, very, very gently, and then just roll them around. You'll see that the shell just kind of like comes right off. Once we have our boiled eggs, next we'll make the mashed avocados, which is a basic guacamole recipe. So first we're gonna pick some ripe avocados, and really it all comes down to the avocados. Try to find an avocado that's ripe, but not overripe. So we're gonna grab a bowl and our half Haas avocado and begin to mash it up. And for more flavor, you can add lemon or lime juice with a bit of salt and pepper. You can also add fresh herbs like cilantro, parsley, or basil, and spices like crushed red pepper, cumin, or paprika. We're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna add some basil, parsley, squeeze lemon juice, pepper flakes, and a bit of salt. All right, time to mix this up. Lastly, all we need to do is toast our bread. And while the bread's toasting, we're gonna slice up our eggs. You wanna spread the avocado mix over the bread. All right, let's take out our egg nice and gentle. And there you have it, a delicious and healthy avocado toast that you can make right from home in a couple minutes and didn't cost 20 bucks. Avocados are a great source of vitamin C, E, K, and B6, as well as being rich in folate, magnesium, and potassium. They do contain fats, but they're healthy fats that are great to include in your diet. And lastly, sprinkle on some of the red cayenne peppers again. All right, there we have it. As you can see, a mountain of eggs on these avocado toast. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. This time I'll give it a try. 
That was delicious. I'm gonna give it like an eight because honestly, I like mayo with my bread and eggs. But today we're keeping it healthy and it still tastes really delicious. Stefan, let me know what you think. Nine out of 10. Damn, okay, okay. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna finish eating this. All right, next up, we're gonna be making an arugula salad with a poached egg. Now this delicious meal is gonna be super low in carbs. And this is like a nice little classy dish with a little candle lit and some Italian food, you feel me? And your girl or your man is gonna be wondering how you even learned to cook like this. And y'all can just thank me later. And the macros for this meal is only 376 calories, 28 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, and 25 grams of fat. And our list of ingredients for that one serving size is gonna be two cups of arugula, two tablespoons of light balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I'm using the Ken's brand. One tablespoon of shaved Parmesan cheese, cheese, a bit of pepper, and four eggs. But before we begin to poach our eggs, we're first gonna prepare a bed of arugula. So when the eggs are ready, we can just put them right on top. All right, now for poaching the eggs, first thing we wanna do is heat two to three inches of water in a large saucepan or a deep skillet to boiling. Once the water is boiling, you wanna adjust the heat to keep the water simmering gently. And now you're ready to put in your eggs. So you wanna break your eggs one at a time into a cup. Holding the dish close to the surface of the water in your pot, you're gonna slip the egg into the water. You could use an egg shaper if you'd like to help keep the whole egg intact. Otherwise you may find a bit of the white starting to float around. Another alternative is to spin the water and create a vortex and drop the egg right in the middle. That would help keep the egg in position and in place. You wanna cook your eggs one at a time until the whites are completely set and the yolks begin to thicken but are not hard. That should take about three to five minutes. Don't stir it. Lift the eggs from the water with a slotted spoon. One poached egg down, three more to go. All right, there we go. Let's take the rest of our eggs and let's put them onto our bed of arugula. And then drizzle the balsamic vinaigrette over it. Spread the shaved Parmesan cheese over the eggs and just a couple tips for poaching perfect eggs. You want to use very fresh eggs for poaching. They hold their shape better and form fewer wispy threads in the water. And it's that simple and easy. Of course, you can add other ingredients to decorate and enhance this meal, but we want to keep it healthy, delicious, and low calorie. So we're only using what's necessary. Time for the taste test. Oh, damn. It's so simple, but it's so delicious. This one, I'm definitely giving it a 10 out of 10. Perfect. All right, this next dish is so good. I'd eat it every day if I could. I pretty much grew up on this stuff. And if you can't tell by the ingredients, we're gonna be making fried rice. One serving of this fried rice is gonna be 455 calories, 32 grams of protein, 55 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. And the ingredients to make one serving will be two eggs, a quarter cup of chopped carrots, one tablespoon of chopped raw chives, one cup of white rice, four ounces of raw shrimp, liquid aminos, and a quarter cup of chopped onions. All right, so first things first, we need to prep our ingredients. And starting off with the rice, we have three options. Option one, we can boil for fresh rice. Option two, you can use rice that was made in advance. Or option three, if you're really short on time and you just want to make this right away, you can even use one minute rice from a cup. I already made one cup of rice in advance, so that's what we'll be using today. Next, we're going to move on to our other ingredients. We're going to wash and clean our carrots and dice them very small. And then we're going to do the same thing with the onions and the chives. My Japo, my grandma has been making me this since I was like, sheesh, I don't know, like three years old. So this is super nostalgic for me. Next, we'll move on to our shrimp and we're gonna cut them up into small pieces. You can buy the shrimp already cleaned, shelled, and deveined to save time, or you can buy the shrimp whole and clean it yourself. As you can see, I opted for the shrimp that has already been cleaned, shelled, and deveined. All right, next we're gonna crack two eggs into a bowl and mix them up. And now that we have all our ingredients prepped, we can start to cook. Prepping the ingredients is actually what it takes up most of the time. And once your ingredients are already prepped, it should only take about five to six minutes to actually cook it. All right, now we're ready to start cooking. I know the pros use woks and frying pans and all that stuff to make authentic fried rice, but I'm probably one of the only Asians that don't have a walk in their kitchen right now. So we're just gonna use a pan. All right, I wet my finger. Let's see if the pot's pan's ready. All right, you hear that? That means it's ready. We're gonna go ahead, make sure it's not too hot. All right, now we're ready to throw in our chopped onions and carrots. Here goes the carrots. And when it starts to become a bit translucent or glazed, that's when you wanna begin to pour in your eggs. All right, now we're just gonna scramble this up a bit. And once you scrambled it up a bit, just like this, we can go ahead and start adding in our rice. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my liquid aminos. It's really good for you. It has 16 amino acids in it, and it's only five calories per teaspoon, zero fat and zero carbs. Now this tastes just like soy sauce. And once the rice is hot, we're gonna go ahead and throw in the shrimp and the chives. The heat from the hot rice should help cook the shrimp. You could have cooked the shrimp first and then add it now, but this is how my grandma does it. Just make sure to cut up the shrimp into smaller pieces so that it cooks faster. We'll know it's done when you take a look at the shrimp and it looks more white and pinkish. And at that point, you could add a little liquid aminos for added flavor. And that's it, you're all done. All right, this fried rice looks ready to go. Let's go ahead and plate that. This is really special. If you make this dish, you guys are literally gonna be trying some food that my grandma has been making me since I was like three years old or maybe even younger. There you have it, some delicious homemade 
fried rice. I'm actually gonna have my brother try this because he's been eating this with me since I was a little kid too. Steph, let me know what you think, if it tastes as good as Jaffo's. On presentation, it looks amazing. Does it look like Jaffo's? Tastes Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. You're not gassing me up, are you? No, it really does. It actually looks like it too. I mean, we did get her recipe, so let's see. Wow. I'm gonna give this like a 20 out of 10. Let's keep the video going before I eat all of this. Definitely give it a try. So good. All right, this next meal is gonna go perfect with breakfast. We're gonna be making a turkey breakfast burrito. This turkey breakfast burrito has just the right ingredients to make it low on calories while slammed with protein and slammed with flavor. One serving is two wraps and the macros are 474 calories, 42 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, and 27 grams of fat. And to make one serving of two wraps, our ingredients list is gonna be two eggs, two carb balanced whole wheat tortillas, a quarter cup of shredded cheese, two ounces of ground turkey, a quarter cup of chopped onions, and a quarter cup of diced mixed peppers, a pinch of crushed red pepper and a pinch of salt. And that's it. The only prep you need is dicing your peppers and onions. One of my favorite ingredients to add to eggs is peppers and onions. That greatly brings out the flavor. If you've never tried it, today you're gonna give it a try. But before we do that, let's heat up a pan on the stove and spray some avocado cooking oil on it. Now while that pan's heating up, we're gonna crack our two eggs into a bowl. You can add a pinch of salt if you want and then whisk it up until the yolks and whites are combined. And then you can put it aside for now. And once the pan is heated up, throw in your diced peppers. All right, the pan's hot. We're gonna go ahead and add in our diced peppers and onions. I'm gonna mix these up a little bit. Next, you can add your ground turkey. All right, let's go ahead and drop it in there with the onions and the peppers. All right, time to mix this all together. This is already beginning to smell so good. All right, now that we got our turkey in there, we're gonna go ahead and add some crushed red pepper and a pinch of salt. And once it's cooked, you just pour your eggs in and scramble it with the turkey. All right, our ground turkey, peppers, and onions, and eggs are done cooking. We're gonna go ahead and put that on the side. And we're gonna prepare our wraps. We're gonna use the same pan so we keep the flavor, soak it into the wrap. All right, let's check if this tortilla is ready. Yes, it is. I'm only gonna to toast one side so that it stays toasty, but I can still fold it. Let's go for one more. We're gonna go ahead and drop in our eggs, onions, green peppers, and ground turkey. Oh my God, this smells so good. Now I'm using a quarter cup of Mexican style four cheese, but of course, depending on the type of cheese you use, that's either gonna increase or decrease the macros and the calories as well. The final step. I can't wait to give this a taste test. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this visually and the serving size, because you have two of these in one serving and it's still low in calories. The cheese is already melted on top. All you have to do is wrap it up and enjoy some delicious gains. I can't believe this is one serving for both of these. I really wanna give this a taste test, but I'm gonna be a gentleman and let my brother go first. That, that tastes really good. Eight out of 10. Zen, come here, I know you like eggs and breakfast burritos. Mm -hmm. Try this one. Turkey sausage, eggs, peppers and onions, a little bit of cheese. Goodness. You like it? That's really good. After awesome. this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat all of it. <laughs> well, good. here, how about you take that one, enjoy that over there. So all right, there you have it, guys. They taste tested it, not me, you heard it from them. It's good, definitely give it a try. And if you have kids, or you are a kid that's trying to make some gains, it's kid certified by my son. So don't sleep on this recipe, follow along with me and make one yourself. Five healthy and delicious breakfast meals using eggs that are packed with protein. And like I said, eggs have been a staple in my diet for years, pretty much my entire life. But to really make a change in your physique, building muscle while getting shredded simultaneously, you need to ensure your calories and macros are aligned with your goals, meaning a slight deficit to burn fat or a slight surplus to prioritize more muscle growth. You also wanna make sure that you're prioritizing protein getting enough protein every single day to ensure muscle growth. And that's gonna be around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I've made many videos on nutrition. I'll put them on screen and link them down in the description. You guys should check out those videos. And after finishing those other videos, you're gonna have a complete game plan to unlocking the best physique you've ever had. And of course, it's not just having the right nutrition, but the right workout plan as well. And if you're looking for the right workout plan with specific goals in mind, like burning fat while simultaneously building solid muscle, all you need to do is download the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store, get full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs. It's like having me as a personal trainer right in your pocket.